Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Jetta. Uh, I'm going to be showing y'all what I did to fix my Call of Duty. Um, having the problem with all the CPU issues and all that. Let me get the monitor turned on here. Hold up. So, go ahead and exit out of this real quick. Uh, actually, I'll drag this over here. So, we're going to start off with going into Blizzard right here. Battle.net. Um, open up your options and hit Show and Explore. Go down to Modern Warfare. Right click Modern Warfare Launcher, go to Properties. Compatibility. Make sure you have uh, run this program as administrator and uh, disable full screen optimizations turned on. Then you're going to hit Apply OK. Uh, same thing for the Modern Warfare EXE itself. Uh, do it for the launcher and for the program itself. Both of them. So you're going to do Apply OK on both of these down here. Uh, go ahead exit out of that or all done there uh, next thing that I did was I went into GeForce experience and make sure I don't know if y'all are trying to record through this but I never use it so I went ahead and turned off the in-game overlay make sure you turn off this in-game overlay dude they made the world of difference turn that off it's not worth it um, then when you're done with that your discord you might have some issues there so go ahead and go into your discord uh, then your overlay might be turned off right here, but in game activity, it'll show like when I open Modern Warfare, if I open Modern Warfare right now, it would show Modern Warfare. So what you're gonna wanna do is, it's gonna have a little TV over here. Just click on that little TV, it'll be done. It'll be gone. And I promise you, you will notice some differences right away. Uh, but the biggest and most important of them all is this program right here called Process Lasso. Uh, this program is literally the life changer that did it because every video on YouTube right now is showing you how to basically just set it to normal priority, but you have to do it every time you launch your game. Not with this. This program does it for you. It it makes it to where you don't have to do shit. See, hold on here. We're going to go into Modern Warfare. Now, it might look laggy through the computer because I'm recording the video and I have my uh, those are another option I'll show you all that but make sure you download process lasso and when it's open go down to modern warfare you're gonna go to where is it at you're gonna find modern warfare right here and right click it it's gonna say current and always make sure your CPU affinity is set the same and the priority class set current it's supposed to be normal hold on sorry there we go all right, so set it to normal. You're gonna see that your game is running beautifully, okay? But there's a few other options that I have to basically keep the CPU limits, keep the CPU down without sacrificing too much stuff. I mean, the game might not look the best, but texture resolution is really all you need. You're not worried about all this other shit. So go ahead and turn your texture resolution to high so that it's or whatever you can turn it up to with your graphics card turn it up to the maximum that you can with your graphics card so you're getting the power from the graphics card because you've noticed that it's using a hundred percent of your cpu but only five percent of your gpu or whatever task manager is going to tell you um definitely turn this up it's going to give you some power from your graphics card uh turn everything else down to low uh, i mean everything why do i have ray tracing enabled okay whatever um Next important thing, uh, you're going to look for the custom frame rate limit. This is important. So go ahead and open this up. Go into advanced. Set your gameplay custom frame rate limit to the maximum refresh rate of your monitor. So mine's 144. Okay. Then in menus, you notice how I'm at 60 hertz right now. Like I'm at 60, or 60 frames right now. Set your menu custom frame rate to 60 frames per second. And then set your out of focus custom frame rate to 30. I promise you it's gonna help turn off Nvidia highlights of course uh, I play on a low FOV oh I did play on a low FOV <laughs> well, I don't know why all my settings are changed I'm sorry but play on uh, lower FOV because it has it doesn't load as much in one uh, one take I guess uh, literally everything is turned off down low um, depth of field make sure you turn that off uh, filmic strength turn it down 
Uh, motion blur, turn those fucking things off. You can play with anti-aliasing if you want. I don't know why I have it on. But, uh, yeah, definitely turn as much stuff as you can off. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop in game real quick and just show you that the game is running smoothly after doing all of this stuff. It might not be running at its maximum, but that's just because I'm recording through Streamlabs right now. And I wanted to basically make the video that I was looking for today when I thought my computer was broken because Modern Warfare wouldn't run normally. Um, we're going to try to get in the game right here real quick. Uh, looks like we found one. But as you can see, no menus are stuttering on me. Everything is beautiful, working perfectly. Nice 60 FPS. You don't need 144 FPS looking at your guns. Okay? You don't need your super badass refresh rate while you're looking at your loadout. Okay? All that matters is when you're in the game, fucking people up. So we're about to hop in the game right here. Watch my stats at the top. You'll see that the CPU time, the 5 milliseconds, is staying down because we're keeping the CPU usage down. And I can even go ahead and open that and show you while we uh while we have the game open as well so let me go ahead and just uh, go ahead and set this down here it might get up there oh it's not gonna stay up okay well the game is running beautifully like look I got my nice frame rate you are clear to process I don't know why it's not capping at 144 it's definitely just running way smoother than you thought it would. The game is running so much better. I promise you, if you try these settings, you will not be disappointed. Uh, it only looks a little choppy because I'm recording, like I said multiple times. But go ahead, test it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave some feedback. Share the video, maybe. Come check out the stream, twitch.tv slash Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.